Hello and welcome to our video lessons on English for competitive exams. This is lesson number 3 of our 5 lesson series on top 50 French words and phrases used in English. In this lesson, we are going to cover 10 French words and phrases which we often come across in English. The contents are there on your screen. We will cover the meanings, pronunciation and example sentences for each of these. So let's discuss our first phrase for this lesson, terra incognita. Terra means land. This word is similar to territory which is derived from the same root. And incognita means unknown. So this word literally means an unknown land. This phrase stands for an unknown or unexplored territory even in a non-literal sense. An example sentence that illustrates this meaning and usage is While flying or driverless cars have become a reality in today's era, concepts like teleportation or time machines are still a terra incognita which means they are unknown or unexplored territory. Next word is protege. This word is almost always used along with the word mentor as in a mentor-protege relationship. To put it in simple words, mentor is a guide, the one who guides someone and protege is the one who is guided. Oxford Dictionary defines the word protege as a person who is guided and supported by an older and more experienced or influential person. An example sentence for the usage of the word is At work, the vice president attempted to encourage his young protege and took him to every business meeting and formal events. Another very very important term used in correspondences is RSVP. It is the acronym or short form for the phrase Repondi s'il vous plaît, which in English means reply if you please or simply respond please. RSVP is an indication that a response is awaited in the context of social invitations. On invitations, hosts generally request RSVP from guests in a format similar to what you can see on your screen so that they can plan accordingly. You may also come across this term in letters and emails, formal as well as informal. Next expression is savoir faire. Since savoir means to know and faire means to do, this French expression literally means to know how to do things properly. The phrase savoir faire refers to the ability to act or speak appropriately in social situations. An example sentence for its usage is During the induction week at the firm, everyone admired the savoir faire with which the HR manager conducted herself and interacted with the new recruits. Next phrase Tete a tete is an easy one. It literally means head to head, as two people would be when they are engaged in some private talks. So indeed, tete a tete means a private conversation between two people. For example, that beach is a well-known spot for spotting young couples engaged in a tete a tete with each other. We are halfway through. And next we have a very good phrase, like literally, bon mot. Bon is the French word for good. The French wish each other bonjour the first thing in the morning, which means have a good day. Or when someone is going on a trip, they will wish bon voyage, which means have a good trip. So bon means good and mot means word. So bon mot literally means a good word. If you really like what someone said, 
you will probably think, wow, that was good. That was very smart thing to say. Bomo is the word to describe it. Bomo means a witty remark or comment by someone. An example illustrating the use of this good word is The whole audience burst out laughing when a soldier narrating his experiences said I first survived mustard gas in a battle and then pepper spray by the police. I am now a seasoned veteran. That was indeed a bomu, said the person in the audience. By the way, did you get the pun? This soldier made a very clever play on the word seasoned. He called himself a seasoned veteran, which means experienced. And we also know that mustard and pepper spray are used as seasonings in cooking. So he is seasoned that way too. Next, we have the expression bon vivant. Bon means good and vivant means to live. So a bon vivant literally is a person who lives well. Any person who devotes himself to a sociable and luxurious lifestyle can be referred to as a bon vivant. An example sentence is He loves splurging on fashionable clothes, luxurious holidays and expensive food and drinks. He is a bon vivant. Yet another popular expression based on the root viv, which means to live, is joie de vivre. The phrase joie de vivre translates into joy of living and means exuberant enjoyment of life. Rest assured, you can expect a bon vivant to be filled with joie de vivre. Look at this group of people who are vacationing in the backdrop of snowy mountains with a breathtaking view. They seem to be filled with joie de vivre. The next phrase is C'est la vie. The word vie is a French version for life. And C'est la vie is another popular phrase that English has inherited from this beautiful language. This phrase literally means that's life. It's used to express acceptance or resignation in the face of a difficult or unpleasant situation. For example, Sarah's response to her job loss was, C'est la vie. It's like saying, well, I will have to put up with what has happened. That's life. Our last phrase in this lesson is, Belle esprit. Belle means fine and spirit is another word for mind. So the phrase belle esprit literally means a fine mind. A belle esprit is a cultured, witty and highly intelligent person. And there is no better example of belle esprit than Oscar Wilde, who was one of the most famous writers in history. Down on your screen is an intelligent and thoughtful quote that gives you an insight into his thoughts. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. If you like the video, please click the like button on this page and also share with your friends. Happy learning!